so. Two more points. Oh, oh. out of time. Phew. And so ends 22 and a half minutes of five on Vince basketball. Good game, guys. I'm practically sweating. Oh, you're just saying that. Oh, contraire. He's glistening. This was a great idea, Teach. What could be more fun than playing a little round ball with your best friend? Especially when we're ditching a state-mandated scalp care lecture. Which, by the way, we should really be getting back to. Adult head lice, pediculus humanae, are small, flat-bodied, wingless insects. Known as parasites, which means they grow and feed off of another animal. Don't let that animal be you. In summary, head lice infect over 12 million Americans every year. Lice live Guys, among human looks hair. like we made it. Ah! Hey, what's the big idea, Menlo? Ah, uh, T.J. Detweiler and his pals. It appears as though you slipped down on Principal Prickly's lecture. Apparently, I'll need to arrange a makeup lecture for you. After school. What? No way! Are you psychologically a ballot? You've got no right to keep us after school. He doesn't, but I do. You rapscallions will report for the makeup lecture just as he says. And I appoint young Menlo here to personally proctor your lesson. Always happy to serve. To prevent lice from spreading and laying their eggs, called nits, avoid sharing personal items such as hats, coats, brushes, and combs. Remember, the scalp you saved <laughs> may be your own. All right, lecture's over. Blasted health department do-gooders eating into my golf times. And that concludes our lesson. Sheesh, about time. Maybe if we hurry, we could still make Kelso's for an ice-crackling cold soda. Sounds, Sounds good. good. Oh, there. Uh, 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 gentle people, not so fast. I've been asked to administer a scalp care quiz. Oh, oh, no. A quiz? Man, this all wants. <clears throat> Question one. Knit. Spell and define. M-E-N-L. Uh, uh, uh. Menlo dweeved us again. Come on, Spinelli. He's just a kid doing his job. Forget about it. I'm afraid I have to agree with Spinelli, TJ. Dealing with Menlo can be a very dispirited experience. No kidding. Hey, I just remembered something. My mom said she could drive us to Commander Blaine's cartoon call-out on Saturday. Yes! Nothing shakes off the fourth grade blues better than screaming for your favorite cartoon. Hey, yeah, and with all of us working as a team, we'll be controlling the cartoons all day. Blaine will be at our mercy. Let's practice. Give me a fusion! Sing your fusion! Give me a beanie! Beanie McChimp! I can't hear you! See your fusion! Beanie McChimp! <laughs> <laughs> hey, Teach, you weren't shouting. Yeah, what's with the mine act? Without you, we can hardly expect to reach the decibel level appropriate for taking the bag of Saturday morning programming. Well, uh, heck, guys, you don't need me. You're doing great. Tender, even. Besides, I can't go. Huh? What do you mean? Surely you chess. Yeah, what's up with that? Uh, nothing. Just something else I gotta do. Well, gotta go. TJ missing a Commander Blaine cartoon call-out? That is bizarre. Particularly considering these call-outs represent a perfect marriage of TJ's dual loves, shouting and cartoons. Guys, something here ain't tender. And I say we find out what's what. I just don't want to talk about it. Okay. But, TJ, surely you have a sensible explanation for why you can't attend the call-out. Yeah, TJ, no more bullying. We want the truth. The truth, eh? The truth is I got something important I gotta do on Saturday. More important than a call-out with your pals? Well, 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 if it isn't the scalp squad. I just got the results of your quizzes. Guess which one of you spelled knit with a K? That is correct, and your scores reflected. Look here, Menlo, I may not be able to spell knit, but I can spell black eye with either fist. I can see I've dallied here long enough. Good day. Now, where were we? Oh, yeah, demanding an explanation. Um, say, anybody catch Wild World of Dangerous Mishaps on cable? Yeah, tractors and tap dancing definitely do not mix. Hey, no change in the subject. Yeah, TJ. Who is it? Tell us, Tej. Just some boring junk. Now leave me alone. I gotta go do some homework. Skipping call-outs? Doing homework? Who is that boy? <sighs> Freedom. Another school day down. So what's the haps for this afternoon? I'm up for heading to Kelso's for something frosty. What do you say? Wild finsters couldn't keep me away. It would butter my fancy. Gretchen Grumler present and accounted for. Too bad TJ isn't present and accounted for. Where is that bad boy anyway? He told me he had an errand to run after school. First he bags on us for Saturday. Then he's doing homework. Now this? A kid could get the feeling he doesn't like hanging with us anymore. I'm sure whatever reason TJ has for being it available to us is a good one. Hey, there's TJ now! Here you go, TJ, all wrapped up nice and special. Hope your friend likes it. Thank you, Mr. K. Uh, hey, guys. So this is the errand you had to run? Buying a present? <laughs> yeah. We heard it's for a friend. Yeah, it's for a 
friend. Oh, TJ, how thoughtful. Different friend, Mikey. Oh. Well, TJ, if you've made a new acquaintance, I'm sure we'd all be delighted to meet him. Thanks for the offer, Grinch, but no, gotta go. Oh, great. TJ's got a secret new friend, and he's buying him stuff. That's nothing. 20 minutes ago, I saw him trying suits on at the Town's Edge Mall. A suit? Oh, my. Our little TJ's getting married. I think he's running for mayor. Could we be losing TJ? I don't know. I just don't know. Whatever is going on, TJ's new pal must really be something special if he wants to hang out with him more than us. I just wish I knew who he was. Or she. Well, whoever it is, they're taking our freckleberry friend away from us. Can I say call out or no call out? We gotta find out what's what and who's who. But how? We do it like any gumshoe would, Gus. First thing Saturday morning, we put a tail on that boy. You're gonna follow him? Oh boy, moist. You stay away. Aww. Let's follow him. Remember, maintain shadow distance. TJ taught us that. Where are we? All the houses, they're the same. Not a single blade of grass or leaf out of place. What manner of child would live in a place like this? That's what we're here to find out. He's whistling. Such a joyful boyhood tune. Intriguing. Shh, here comes the moment of truth. Mikey, you're crushing my hand. Sorry. <gasps> Hello, Menlo. Happy birthday. Howdy, TJ. You're just in time for punch. But don't overdo it. My uncle added fluoride. Swell. Some friend. He dumped us for Menlo? Who knew Menlo had birthdays? Or that he was a sheriff. TJ throwing us over for Menlo? Children, we are through the looking glass. TJ do that to himself. Why would he do that to us? Menlo's caused us nothing but trouble from day one, and now TJ's giving him a present? Some friend indeed. Guys, here he comes. Oh, heh <laughs> What are you guys doing here? Better question. What are you doing here? Uh, aren't you missing the cartoon call out? We came to call you out instead. Go, Vince. So Menlo is your new friend, huh? We thought we were your friends. Yeah! Guys, guys, wait a second. I can explain. Oh, TJ! TJ! I'm glad I caught you. You left without your party favor. I think you'll really enjoy it. Remember this? Hey, that's you and TJ! Yes, that was back at my fourth birthday party. You two look like your pals. Hard to believe, isn't it? But yes, as Tykes, TJ and I were quite inseparable. You might say we were the best of friends. If I wasn't looking at a picture, I would not believe it. Yes, what happened? We got older, our interests diverged, one accepts these things. But TJ was such a large part of my life, it seemed a shame that nothing would remain to remind me of our friendship. TJ sensed how I felt, so he made a promise that no matter what happened, every year he would come to my birthday party. Even if you're constantly dweebing him? Your words, not mine. And despite how we've changed, I must say, he's been true to his word. A promise is a promise. But you guys don't even hang out anymore. And that's okay, Gus, because we'll always have the memories of that special time. Because of TJ. Well, forgive me, but I still have guests. Catch you later. Not if I catch you first. Wow, keeping a crummy promise after all these years. Teach, you really are some friend. I can't believe we doubted you. Oh, I didn't. Me neither. What you talking about, Gretch? Hey, guys, the cartoon call-out isn't over yet. If we hurry, we can still get to see our favorites. Give me a fusion! Senior fusion! Give me a fusion!